In this video, we're going to discuss what we can provide students so that they have a takeaway to prove that they've successfully completed the course. Okay, I have a question from Paul Schellebarger uh, a few hours ago. Is there a way to print out quiz results pages or even a certificate page that the student can take away from the course. Thanks for all the great videos that you're producing. Uh, first of all, Paul, there is a solution in Adobe Captivate 9 or 8, um, I believe even earlier versions, that deals with uh, a learning interaction. So let me just quickly show you that. I've never used it. I want to be clear that I know that there's some issues with it. So let me just uh, show you what that looks like there. Um, in the learning interactions window, you'll see um, a certificate or award of excellence, and you can insert it at the end of your course and, and set it up accordingly. And there's even a print button in there. Um, I've experimented with it in the past, and I didn't find it uh, provided a very desirable result. So I won't be recommending that to you today, but I just want you to know that that's available. Instead, I was given this challenge a few years ago by the organization I was working for at the time. Uh, they wanted to be able to provide e-learning to their volunteers. They're uh, an international airport, and in addition to having an LMS for employees, they have a bunch of volunteers. Now, because they're not employees, they don't have access to the learning management system or LMS, um, but they still wanted them to complete this training. Some of it was safety related, some of it was um, regulatory, in other words the government required that they complete this training. So how do we do that? Well, there's a, another video that I have that talks about uh, storing e-learning on a Dropbox account, and uh, I'll put a uh, a card for that here so you can check that out as well. But in addition to that, we wanted to be able to give them something that was a takeaway, a proof that they completed this training. So I have my pretty much my standard quiz results page and of course there's a button to retake the quiz if they were not successful the first time, but there's also a continue button which in this case because it's the last page of the course We'll just continue to the end of the Adobe Captivate project. Now, if you go into the Edit drop-down menu and go into Preferences, alternatively you can hit Shift F8, that will bring up your Preferences window, as you can see here. And the section we're looking for is the Project section, and the page we're looking for is specifically the Start and End page. And the key thing here is at the end of the project, rather than simply stopping the project, um, I set it up to open a URL or file. In this case, the URL that I'm opening up is just a local file called pass.html. And of course, I open it up in the current window, so it takes over from the course. Um, the, what this pass, uh, what this pass, um, file looks like. Here it is here. And when you load this into an HTML page, you get a very simple congratulations, you have successfully completed the online course. Please fill out your name and this is just a standard text box. And then from here the instructions are is that they can either copy this form, uh, control P, uh, sorry, print a copy of this form by hitting control P. And that will open up the standard print dialog box, which you can either do it, send it to OneNote, or create a PDF, or send it to your actual printer. And so that gives users an ability to print this to prove that they've completed the course. Because it's basic HTML, it comes up looking nice and clean and on a single 8.5 by 11 page. So this worked rather well. It showed their name, and it was proof that they gotten to this end of the course. It doesn't show the score, unfortunately. I wasn't able to figure out a way to uh, transfer that information to the HTML page. That would have been nice. 
but at least uh, I can prove that they got a passing grade because they wouldn't have been able to get to this page unless they successfully completed the course. Um, so it's basically an HTML file. It contains, you know, just some uh, formatting, you know, to bold certain things and to uh, put a graphic on the top there to indicate which company it's for. And um, quite frankly, the confirmation code that you saw on the end of the page was just something I made up. It was the year and a code that represented the course. Um, so, but it, it was a, a solution that worked. And this way, in fact, you didn't require a learning management system to keep track of everyone's results. All you had to do was put these in a file folder. And if anyone came calling to audit you to complete, to show that you've completed training for a bunch of employees, or in this case, volunteers, uh, you just pull out the file and say, here, Paul Wilson completed the course. Uh, John Smith completed the course. Uh, Mary Jane completed the course and so on. So. A uh, very simple solution, and the only thing you have to remember is that when you publish the course to, say, your Dropbox account or to whatever folder, uh, make sure to copy this past.html file to that folder as well. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful, helpful, interesting, hilarious, entertaining, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.